Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here. Today, I am back on some Destiny 2. It's been a minute, but I decided to hop back on because of this new update. I wanted to check it out and see what exactly has happened. And oh my god, they've changed a lot of stuff. And it's actually really awesome. So if you haven't been playing Destiny 2 in a while, maybe you got bored of it. This is a nice time to come back to check out some of these new subclasses, basically, because they've changed the way that a lot of these supers work, and they've made these subclasses a lot better, especially the older ones. That's what they were going for. They wanted to update some of the older ones that nobody really ever uses anymore, and they have done some crazy stuff. Now, in my opinion, the most impressive change has been with the Titan. The Titan always gets a lot of love, and... There is no exception in this case because the Striker Titan, the code of the Juggernaut, has been insanely buffed. This is just ridiculous on how good the code of the Juggernaut is now because it used to be that the top tree was pretty much the best for the longest time. And then when the new one came out, that was pretty good too. But the bottom one had its uses, but at the same time, it wasn't generally used all that much. Now I can see a lot of people just using the code of the Juggernaut because it is so insanely overpowered. Now for your build, I would 100% recommend the Insurmountable Skull Fort. Now this is a great helmet for the Striker Titan, but in this case, it's really good because the main thing we're going to be doing with this is doing a lot of knee charges with our super. And because that is a melee, you will get health regeneration from that, and that will make you pretty much unkillable, like it really does. Now in PvP, maybe not. But in PvE, you are definitely unkillable, and it's really good in PvP as well. Don't get me wrong, because having this is very nice. And then everything else, I mean, it's really up to you on what you want to go for, but I would probably say super mods would be probably the best thing. But then again, I'm not exactly sure. It's been a long time since I've played this game, but this is just ridiculous. Now, I'm going to show you guys what this can do now, because it is insane. It really is. And if you haven't been playing Destiny 2 and you like the Titan, you should definitely come back to check this out because you'll have a lot of fun playing with this updated Striker Titan. Alrighty guys, now it's time to demonstrate what this can do. And first things first, we need to pop our super. Now what's really crazy about this, because if you don't know, this is now an unlimited super. As long as you have enemies to actually kill and you are dealing with the mobs and stuff, you will have an unlimited super. Because the first thing that they actually did here was they made it so that the knee attack now will cost 85% less super energy than it used to. So now it's super cheap to actually do the knee attack. And they also buffed the trample perk from the code of the juggernaut. So combine those two together and you have unlimited super pretty much. Now what they did was they made it so that Trample can now trigger a lot sooner than it used to be able to trigger. I'm not exactly sure on how long it used to take to actually trigger, but I guess it was a lot longer. Because now it's like 0.5 seconds, so every time you pretty much do the knee attack and you kill an enemy, you are going to get super energy back. And as you can see, it's pretty much unlimited super energy as long as you have an enemy to kill. Now, this is not very good at taking out bosses or anything like that. It's definitely more for taking out mobs of enemies. You also have, like, insane mobility with this, which is really cool. Because you can just fly around the map doing the knee attack to just move really quickly. Which is epic and awesome. But we're just waiting for more mob level enemies to spawn so that we can go ahead and try to kill them to build our super back up. Because you can also do your smash attack if you like. That is something you can throw in there into mobs. But that will cost you a lot more super energy to do that. And you might actually run out your super if you actually try that. But remember, for bosses and things like that, this isn't very good. But if you're in multiplayer, what does it really matter? Because you have teammates to actually help you out. And to help you take out those bosses where you are just roaming around taking out the mobs of the enemies. So that's pretty much the idea behind it now the only thing in my opinion that could make this even better is if Bungie would release an exotic for the striker titan that would allow him to get his super back a lot sooner that way you can actually get your super really quickly and then when you use it you have an unlimited super that would be amazing 
But as of right now, the Skull Fort is amazing for this just because you are pretty much unkillable in PvE. It's, you're just not going to die. Every time you actually do the knee attack, you will always get your health back. And in Gambit, this is insane. Like, I can just imagine on how amazing this would be for Gambit, taking out those mobs of enemies and never dying. Like, that is just awesome. And I can also see this being very good in PvP because the knee attack will one-shot players. Now, you're not unkillable because people could potentially kill you, but it still would be insane. And being able to spam that knee attack to close the gap, oh my god, that will be so frustrating to deal with. So, overall, the Titan got a really nice buff, especially the code of the Juggernaut Titan. This thing is amazing now. It's a lot of fun to play, and I definitely recommend... Getting on some Destiny to actually check this out, especially if you like the Titan. I'm a Titan main, so I eat this up. And now, in my opinion, all of the Striker classes are really good. I think, as of right now, probably the Code of the Juggernaut will be my favorite one, just because I love the Sentinel for being able to do something very similar, where you can have almost an unlimited super if you're playing it right. And now with this, you also have almost an unlimited super as long as you're playing it right so that is awesome Alrighty, guys that's going to pretty much do it for the video i really hope that you have enjoyed it and that you'll like the video just to help me out it really does help and i do appreciate it and also it'd be awesome if you guys could subscribe for future videos but i really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace